Ibo Area TV, Onondi Ibo. A lot of people are wondering, what is it that Danjima will have to say that will shake Nigeria like he claimed? Um, you know who Danjima is. He is not just like every common man in Nigeria. The moment you mention the name T.Y. Danjuma, you remember 1966. You also remember the Nigerian army. You remember events around that time. T.Y. Danjuma. What is that thing that he will say and the whole thing will explode? What is it? General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma. T.Y. Danjuma, a retired, is a former Minister of Defense, and he has been in the news not until he met this last statement. Danjuma says that nobody in Nigeria will sleep again if he reveals what he knows happening in Nigeria. Again, is this something we already know or we don't know? What can Danjuma say that will make we not to sleep again? What will he say that will make us to keep our eyes open? During the launch of a book, 70 Years of Progressive Journalism, the story of the Nigerian Tribune and the presentations of Tribune's Platinum Awards, Tiwa Dajima spoke at the event, which was at the University of Ibadan. Dajima was Nigeria's former chief of army staff from 1975 to 1979. In his remark, he has chided the Southwest leaders for their silence over what is happening in Nigeria, over how the country is currently being run. His words, in Yoruba land, everybody seems to have lost their voice, scared, and people appear not to care about what is happening. He said, if I tell you what I know that is happening in Nigeria today, you will no longer sleep. We are in a big hole as a nation. And people who put us in this hole have continued today. So we have to wake up. Only we can save ourselves. The fifth columnist activities going on among your people are not helping matters. May God Almighty continue to bless this country, but only we can save ourselves from ourselves. So he's trying to say that Yorubas need to wake up. That they, are, they, they don't used to act like the Yorubas he knew. Uh, they are now calm. Nobody is speaking and there is trouble everywhere. But a few things will strike you after reading Danjuma. He claims, uh, you know, his posture is as if he knows a lot of things happening in the country. And particularly at the corridors of power, Aso Rock. Yeah, yeah. Truly, he may know certain things, um, considering his background and his reach. Yes, he has seen that corridors of power. He has been there. It's possible he could know certain things. And uh, by his recent speech and statement, he appears to be performing a patriotic duty as a, an elderly statement, addressing, alerting the nations about chaos and how to avert it. But what is it again that Danjuma knows that will make Nigeria not to sleep if he reveals them? Is it going to tell us about the shadow cabal behind the administration of President Muhammad Buhari? Miss Aisha Buhari has already told us that a cabal runs the government. There are two people in that cabal that you have to bow to or you'll be shown the door. So what is Danjuma going to tell us? We already know Aisha has told us something about the running of the presidential villa. Will he talk about the impunities of this administration, the atrocities already committed by them? Or we have gospel political singers like Femi Falana already talking about it, shouting about the lack of rule of law in the country. What is he going to tell us about? Will he talk about the poverty level of Nigeria? Will that make Nigerians not to sleep again? 
The World Bank has already warned us that Nigeria may be the po- capital of poverty in the next few years if the issue of unemployment is not addressed. So our unemployment level in the country is hitting red. The World Bank already told us that. So I don't think um, Danjuma will tell us anything about that that will make us lose our sleep. We've since been wondering what is it that Danjuma will say and Nigerians will start keeping work instead of sleeping. As a minority Christian John Cohn in Taraba State, will he talk about um, the nepotistic appointments of this administration? That one is a public domain. So what else? We already know. Um, we've already seen how the appointments are done ever since this government came into power 2015. So Danjima is not going to tell us any new thing about that. We know about the appointment. It is, it is even those in secondary school knows that how the government has chosen to do their appointments. So for some people, uh, they are waiting for the time the regime will expire and we move on again so what is this guy gonna tell us what is this old player in the nigerian political scene going to tell us will he tell us about the allocations of nigerian oil wells to certain people to friends and cronies an oligarchy giving out our oil wells to who they like while the owners of the oil have not if that is what it's going to tell us, the owners of this oil, the Niger Delta region, already know what is happening. So it wouldn't be a new thing. What is he going to tell us? So can someone tell Danjuma that we have been sleeping soundly and that there's nothing he will tell us that will make us, that will make sleep leave our eyes or sl- make us slumber? But there continues to remain something worrying about Danjuma's statement. One is his moral authority to tell us about the people who put us in this hole. Haba. But is Danjima not among those who had put us in this hole? Beginning from the July 29, 1966, when he shot himself into national limelight. Yeah, you know what happened? Even as recent as the Obasanjo administration, Danjima has been in the power loop. He has been in the corridors of power. Either as a participant, advisor, kingmaker, or as a dealer. Is he angry now that he is no longer part of the deal? What is he going to tell us that we are yet to know? Another reason Danjuma's statement might be a cause for worry is the historic nature of the place where he made the statement. You remember it was Danjuma who led a group of soldiers to Ibadan to kill the then head of state, General Johnson Aguirunsi, and his host, Colonel Adekunle Fajui, the then military governor of the western region. The Ibadan coup, historians have continued to insist, put Nigeria on the path of civil war. This is almost 50 years after the war. Nigeria is here to come out of that hole Danjuma is talking about. A hole they put Nigeria into with their unbridled ambition. Is Danjuma claiming self-righteous by telling us we cannot sleep if he reveals what he knows? Please help us tell Danjuma that there is nothing he can say that will make us lose our sleep. Yes, I don't think he has anything to say that will make Nigerians lose their sleep. For us here, if he had any um, apologies to make, uh, if that is welcomed. Yes, somebody can repent of sins if he had committed any sin and apologize. Yes, if he's, he wants to make an apology for certain things, he should come out and make, come out and make the apologies. He can be forgiven. The other time it was Obasanjo who said he has something that he's holding within him that if he says it, uh, the grounds will crack. You know, there will be a big earthquake. Now it's Danjuma. Thanks for watching Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.